Now let me use an example to explain to you how is the formation of dative bond happen in this hydrozonium ion. Hydrozonium ion is an ion that form in between one water molecule and also one hydrogen ion. Before we can start looking at the formation of the hydrozonium ion, let us draw out the Lewis structure of water molecule. What you can see on the whiteboard here showing uh, the Lewis structure of the water molecule. Okay, as a refreshment to all of you, how do this water molecule is formed? Water molecule is a covalent compound. A covalent compound that forms for, by using sharing electron between atoms from the molecule. As we can see here, we have one oxygen atom which provides six valence electron. The red color is a six valence electron, belongs to the oxygen atom. This oxygen atom is from group 16, therefore it has six valence electron. In order for oxygen atom to achieve octet electron arrangement, they need another two more electron to achieve the octet electron arrangement. So these two electron will come from the hydrogen atom. Each of the hydrogen atom will share out one of its valence electron with the oxygen atom to achieve the uh, covalent bond. When this hydrogen atom share out its one valence electron to the oxygen, and oxygen share out one to hydrogen, hydrogen achieve doublet electron arrangement. Same thing go to this hydrogen atom. We, when we look at these hydrogen atom, uh, sorry, when we look at these uh, water molecule, what we can see here on your oxygen atom inside the water molecule, they are two lone pair. Lone pair is a pair of electron that belongs to one single atom, and this pair of electron is not doing any sharing or any activity yet. So the first lone pair will be here and the second lone pair can be observed here. There is one hydrogen ion coming approach. Hydrogen ion, the Lewis structure will be represented by a square bracket and a positive charges. This means hydrogen ion does not have any valence electron anymore in the outermost shell. Hydrogen ion is formed because hydrogen atom release its electron and form into a cat ion. So therefore, if we can look into the valence electron of this hydrogen ion, the valence electron shell basically is empty. When this hydrogen ion come approach the water molecule, asking whether they can do a chemical reaction, and achieve a better stability. What will this water molecule say to the hydrogen atom? Sorry, hydrogen ion. Water molecule will say, don't worry, I still have two pair of lone pairs. And these two lone pair is nothing to do around my oxygen atom. And they are so willing to be shared out. And if the oxygen atom from the water molecule share out one of its lone pair to the hydrogen ion, hydrogen ion will achieve a doublet electron arrangement. Now let's see how does this sharing can happen. As you can see, my end product, this is actually our hydrozonium ion. How this hydrozonium ion is formed? This hydrozonium ion is formed when the oxygen atom from the water molecule willing to share out its dative bond. The two electrons in red color and I bracket it using a blue color that shows the dative bond. This dative bond is shared out to the hydrogen ion which in this hydrogen ion its valent electron shell is totally empty. The moment when this hydrogen ion receive two electrons shared out by the oxygen atom, 
These two electrons is a pair of lone pair from the oxygen atom in the water molecule. The moment when this hydrogen ion receive a shared lone pair by the oxygen atom, this hydrogen ion will achieve a doublet electron arrangement. However, when they form into hydrozonium ion, even though the oxygen atom in the water molecule share out its lone pair, it does not affect the most stable optic electron arrangement in the oxygen atom. Oxygen atom still able to achieve the octet electron arrangement. When we look around the oxygen atom, we are still able to see eight electrons arranged around the oxygen atom. Two, four, six, eight. And in this hydrozonium ion, all our hydro hydrogen atom is achieved doublet electron arrangement. The first hydrogen atom have one electron shared by the oxygen. So therefore, this part itself is a single covalent bond. Single covalent bond is formed when atoms sharing electron among themselves. Non-metal atom will share electron among themselves. Similarly to the second hydrogen atom, you can see one red and one black color electron. Red color electron is the valence electron shared by oxygen. Black color electron is the electron shared by the hydrogen. So in this case, the doublet achievement, it is going to form a single covalent bond. And where is our tentative bond? This is the location of our tentative bond. Tentative bond is formed through the sharing of a pair of lone pair from only one atom. And this only one atom that we mentioned here is our oxygen atom. Oxygen atom share out one of its lone pair to the hydrogen so that the hydrogen can achieve of doublet electron arrangement. When the sharing occurred between the oxygen atom to the hydrogen with an empty valence electron shell, at this place, we are able to see a formation of a dative bond. If I'm going to ask you to identify how many type of chemical bond is formed in the hydrozonium ion? The answer will be two types. We have single covalent bond. We have tentative bond. Now let's have a look. If the question asking you to identify the type of chemical bond formed inside the hydrozonium ion, so our answer will be number one, we have two single covalent bond. These two single covalent bond is formed between the hydrogen atom and the oxygen atom by sharing one valence electron each. And lastly, there will be one tentative bond formed in between the oxygen atom and the hydrogen ion. That will be the location of where our tentative bond is.